What's up guys, my name is Marwa and if it's your first time to this YouTube channel, uh, man, kindly subscribe and also press that bell notification. As you see from the title of the video, we are talking about is it easy for black guys to find, let's say, how is dating for a black guy in Latin America? All I need is you, baby, baby. guys my name is Marwa and if it's your first time to this YouTube channel uh, man kindly subscribe and also press that bell notification as you see from the title of the video we are talking about is it easy for black guys to find let's say how is dating for a black guy in Latin America and I'll be very specific this video is just focusing on Colombia and Mexico but as I make this video I have to say, man, if you're not black, please don't feel offended. It's because this question has been asked, you know, I'm a black guy, I can't, I can't change that. And uh, being black uh, in this YouTube channel, a lot of followers also are black and they always ask me, Maru, how is dating in Colombia as a black guy? It's a question that I've been avoiding for a long time and now I just want to say, I just want to talk about it. And today I'm having one, one really, really pretty girl. Actually, she's... She's not a model, but I see she's a model, you know? <laughs> yeah. Imagine she's Colombian and she never models. Man, and I don't know. Is it like Colombia has beautiful girls that you don't feel like you like the best of the best or is it because you don't like to model? Because you're super cute, you know? No, I think I'm normal for a Colombian. <laughs> Imagine she's a normal girl for a Colombian. Man, me, I'm like, oh my God, Dios mío. <laughs> Dios mío is like, oh my God. So. Uh, let's let me introduce you to this beautiful uh, princess. Uh, hey, what's your name? Hi guys, I'm Maya. I'm from Colombia and I am 28 years old. Yeah, Maya is from Colombia and she's 28 years old. So she's old enough to advise guys coming to Colombia. Actually, we've done part one of the video about can you get married? Can you get a wife in Colombia in two weeks? Yeah, we've done that video. I know it sounds crazy, but many people try to come to Colombia to find like wives, not even girlfriends, wives in like two weeks. So we made that video because it's a common phenomenon here. So today we're talking about how is dating as a black guy in Colombia. Uh, what do you think, Maya? <clears throat> I, will have to say, I will have to say that I love blacks. Yeah. I will... I love the way they dance, yeah. I, I like the way they speak, I yeah. like the way, the energy of them. So in my case, I yeah. love blacks. Mm -hmm. My boyfriend is white, yeah. but I believe, or he believes, he yeah. is black inside. inside. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, sometimes uh, uh, me being as a black person in Colombia, and I lived here before two years, I'll say this. Uh, Colombia has a lot of population of black people really a lot and most of the time when you're a black guy and you approach this girl she thinks you're Colombian not unless you look really different maybe you have a different swag of dress or maybe your hairstyle something like stands out but mostly they tend to think you're Colombian but once you speak to them that's when you see them saying oh you're not from here and they become more nicer to you but before that they just see you like mm -hmm. you know that's like my honest opinion and I think um, me, now I'm talking about me, it's more personal, but Maya will be here to, sup, to help me when I need help. I'll say me being in Colombia and comparing it to Mexico, I find Mexico is more favorable for black guys if you're on a date, actually. If you're really looking for a, a Latin girl, let's say like Maya here. Yeah. <laughs> Mexico City actually was my favorite and Playa del Camel. That's because most... Uh -huh. There are not many blacks in Mexico. There are no many blacks in Mexico. So you, in Mexico, you are like a the You are like a superstar yeah. there. Like actually, walk in the streets, people, even girls, come to you and say, "Hey, please, can I have a photo with you?" Oh, really? And actually, that was one of my problems with my ex-girlfriend. She was Mexican. <laughs> she sometimes she took me photos with other girls. You know, they would come and say, "Please, can I have a photo with him?" And it's not about YouTube. It's not about being like an influencer. It's just about me being black. 
Yeah, but in here, if I see you on yeah. the street walking, yeah. I will say, oh, he's from Cartagena. Exactly. He's from Cali, mm -hmm. Buenaventura, El Pacifico. So uh, I will never imagine you are from Africa. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. You see, so that's the real difference here in Colombia and in Mexico. Mexico, you're purely exotic. And there everybody, like, you know when you're an exotic, like say, for example, if Maya goes to my home country, I am very sure paparazzi will be running after you. Oh, I will. Yeah, because you, you'll be super exotic. You'll be like, wow, who is this lady? Who, you know, everybody will be like that. And maybe even you'll be on TVs and telling people about Colombia and stuff like that, you see. But her, being in Colombia, she doesn't feel more exotic. So she feels normal. She feels average in Colombia. That's what I'm trying to say. Me as a black person in Colombia, I feel more Colombian. And that in dating is just like a normal person. So even if I approach a girl, she sees me like, hmm, so what is this guy from <laughs> Cali trying to talk to me, you know? Until I say, hello, how are you? They be there, oh. Yeah, they even try to speak in Spanish. Spanish, yeah. yeah. You look like you know Spanish. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in Mexico, it was totally, totally different. It's totally, totally different. Very different. Yeah. And not even sometimes, this... I don't know why this is so personal with my ex-girlfriend. These are the problems I had with my ex-girlfriend because maybe I may go to a club and nearly all girls want to dance with me. And when I post a video on YouTube and she sees that, she blocks me on WhatsApp, she blocks me everywhere. But Mara, mm -hmm. tell everybody, are you that good at because we yeah. Colombians are yeah. the best dancers. Yeah, Colombians are good, man. I'm I'm really trying because I'm African too, you know. I have that blood in me of just yeah. dancing. Yeah, actually, me, I dance with a girl, with no girl, alone in the house. Like, me, as long as the rhythm is beating me, that's like, I'm gonna, I wanna do it. Yeah. What's your advice for black guys coming to Colombia, especially foreigners, wanna date? Yeah, you know, Colombia has really pretty girls, as you see from Maya here, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, please I, tell us. I would say, guys, uh, don't be afraid. You mm -hmm. will fit here. Mm -hmm. pra just perfect. Just yeah. come. Everybody will love you. We are pretty, cl pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Pretty, um, I don't know, polite. Polite, so yeah. Just came here. Let's go for a dance and just let's chill. And uh, let me ask you one thing. Sometimes people try to come to Colombia with a lot of pressure. Like I'm going to Colombia. I want to find a wife. You know, I want a wife. What's your advice? You know, we talked in another video, but also you can say in this because. They're different videos. Okay, okay, I will say yeah that if you want to find a wife, you will have to spend a little bit more of time in Colombia looking for a good one. You know, you just you just, you can be here and spend two weeks, but believe me, you won't find a wife in two weeks. You need to spend more time here, and Colombia is beautiful. You won't be like a bored. Yeah, you boring. know, you will be yeah, you will have the best time ever. If you want to find a wife, come here, but you have to spend at least three months. Oh, try to, co to come like a three, four times, get to know the city, the country, and of course the girls and the culture. Yeah. Yeah, I man, don't give yourself pressure when you're coming to Colombia. Because sometimes I see a lot of friends of mine, they say, oh man, I, I had a lot of hope for Colombia. I went there for two weeks, I didn't find a girl. Oh, no, now I feel see. disappointed. Man, two weeks is too little. Even it, for a girl... To in, a, really, in, another, in another country. Yeah, you know, it's, it's too little, man. Yeah. The best thing is either how she just said it. Either you stay here for long, you know, three months. That's really good. Or you can be coming forth and back. You fly here two weeks, meet people, make some good contact, go, keep communication, then show up again, then go three times, four, man. I think that can be really, really nice. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, <laughs> Maya has been really good. We made the first video. Please go check it out. And also, this video, maybe I'll be putting her links also of Instagram and everything. Please, please go check. Bye. Check Maya. Yeah, please go check Maya. Show some love, man. <laughs> She's been here supporting me. Yeah, show some love. And maybe we shall do more videos. We we plan. She she's from. La Guajira, right? I'm from La Guajira, like a, a small uh, department. Yeah. Uh, really far away from Bogota. It's like I don't know, like uh, uh, eight, uh, 
800 kilometers from oh, here. Oh, how, how many hours on flight? By on flight? flight, it will be two hours, oh, it's but two, uh, by bus, it will be like at the whole day, like oh. uh, eight, 18 hours, 16 hours. Like yeah, that. she told me they are like guys are really beautiful and tall. and Yeah. And she wanna take me there, man. So ensure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to see girls from Guatemala. Yeah, you will see <laughs> like, right beautiful here. girls and beautiful landscape. Yeah, it's a big city. Which is the big city there? Which is the, the big city is Riwacha. Riwacha. And Bayeru Park is close to there. They are different departments. Yeah. But Bayeru Park, yeah. the La Ciudad del Vallenato. Si yeah. no has escuchado Vallenato, por yeah, favor. Vallenato. Vallenato. Yeah, yeah, I know Vallenato. You know how yeah. to dance Vallenato? Yeah, not really so much, but I can try, you know. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It's from there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's from there. Riwacha okay. and Bayeru yeah. Park are the biggest city over there. Yeah, so I mean, a conclusion to this video is uh, for black guys, actually, me, from my own experience, I say Mexico is much better. I don't know why I say that. But if also Colo I don't say like Colombia is not so good, but I'm just saying like Mexico, you have better chances. Yeah. I think you will have better chances if you know how to dance. Or if you know how to that's dance. That's it. For me, yeah. that's... And you know, if you're a black guy and if you can't dance, people are oh always like... Oh my God, that will be so yeah, embarrassing. Like, Yo, oh my God, you don't know how yeah, to Because dance. in Colombia, sometimes you're in a club like this and the girl can come to you and say, Hey, come, I want to dance with you. That's the funny thing I've ever seen here. You know, the other countries is always like boys ask girls, like, can I dance with you? But in Colombia, they will be like, just, hey, let's just dance, just this song. Yeah, and yeah. to be honest, you have the face uh, of a dancer. <laughs> if I see you sitting uh, in a yeah, club, I will yeah. go straight to you. I say, yeah, okay, yeah. let's dance. Okay, guys, please check uh, Maya, please, please, on her Instagram. And I'm trying to see if we can open her uh, YouTube channel. Okay. Maybe once, maybe if you're watching this video after a month, she, would, she, she should be having a YouTube channel. All will be in the link below. Or maybe in the yeah in the screen <laughs> in the screen here yeah, right in the screen as you see yeah yeah that's Maya's Instagram bye for now and we shall see you next time bye guys bye that's very all I need is you baby baby